Something is taking place. Gotten only by militancy. A lot of white people did not want black people as their neighbors. Asian, West Indian, and black British stand firm in England. There's Malcolm. Is he walking around Birmingham? Yeah, Smethwick in Birmingham. Smethwick, yeah. I um, see. Be militant. You can't be conservative or moderate today. There's Angela. Angela Davis, yes. The black community as a whole. Brothers and sisters, this is genocide. These were all great movements for us yes, at the time. Yes, yes. This is really our inspiration. Black power, what does it really mean? The coming together of black people to fight for their liberation by any means necessary. They articulated all our desires, all our dreams, all our feelings, and that's why we were attracted to them. And there was a lot of hostility to immigrants and immigration. Some organisations would like to see all coloured people sent back to their home countries. Keep Britain, Britain, keep it white as it should be. Even when I went to school, you would hear it in the classroom. Miss, miss, this isn't fair. Why are all these immigrants coming here? They're coming to take my dad's job, etc. There won't be enough houses and jobs to go around. The white person should have their mouths first. My mother was English and I was surrounded really by white people. So I was quite isolated and lonely. I came to Britain on a scholarship to Cambridge University. It was when I came to London looking for a room to stay that I suddenly got a jolt. They really did say, we don't want you here. A lot of white people did not want black people as their neighbours and they certainly didn't want them in their houses. Apart from facing this kind of racism from landlords, one would go to pubs and they would pretend that you were not there, that you were an invisible person. Serious clashes between the police and immigrants, highlighting the growing conflict between the two up and down the country. The policing of black communities was very, very brutal. We, as we grew up, began to resist and want better for ourselves. A black man is not given a chance to get a position where he has any sort of power. He is not given a chance in society to play any part at all in a way he has any authority. There was a community spirit, a spirit of resistance side by side with poor housing, poor education, police brutality, and just trying to make an existence in very, very poor circumstances. I lived on a flat on the second floor. Somebody threw a Molotov cocktail through the glass. The flames were coming through. I jumped two stories down. That was a racial attack. Five houses, Asian and black houses, were bombed the same night. I knew what was going on and I wanted to be part of something, so I joined the Black Unity and Freedom Party. At weekends, Black Panther badges are proudly worn on the streets of London. In 1967, there was a feeling that the world was going to be changed. The Black Panther movement spoke about who we were, why we were here. I thought these people are sensible. I want to join them. This was something that we had to do. The real revolutionary proletariat ready to fight by any means necessary for the liberation of our people. The militancy of the Panthers was very, very attractive to us. Their demands, we could identify with those demands without any problem at all. We all produced newspapers. We would go to Brixton, stand outside the reggae shop and sell the newspapers there. 13 died, 26 were injured. Listen, I'm ringing up to confirm about the coaches that are coming down from Huddersfield. How many are coming? We were active in all aspects of our communities, just trying to develop and move forward the black community in this country.
there was a strict monitoring of uh, by the police especially after the mangrove demonstration i've never known whether a uh, file was kept on myself but uh, darkest house certainly had a file on him we are, are, are faced with a serious potential that is the overwhelming intervention of blacks on the current stage of history in britain when we were going around, black people were still called coloured. What we did and what we changed, of course, was introduce the term black and being proud. We were not victims in British society, that we were out to make our own change. And you can see that today. The movement itself has given me an optimism. I don't think the detail of the Black Power movement of the uh, 70s and early 80s is known really by and large in the population. Because it isn't taught in schools, because it isn't part of the discussion in the media to any great extent. So now's our time really to say, this is what we did, this is how we did it. And if there's anything you can learn from that, then that's good enough for us.